Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shh. All right, we're here, we're doing this. <laughs> this, this video uh, was a question. Uh, thank y'all for giving me these questions too because um, from time to time, I just don't have anything to talk about. But um, this question was about the muzzles, the short muzzles, and uh, how short is too short. It's a hard question because the head size determines the muzzle size. But, uh, you know, I remember back in the day they used to say, man, I want to go for the two-finger muzzle, which is realistically like, okay, whose fingers is it? Because, <laughs> you know, when they say two fingers, they were just sitting the two fingers on top. If it's that short, that's a good muzzle. But if the head, but if the dog got a 28-inch head, that's a very short muzzle, you know. So it depends on, I would say, you know, uh, I wouldn't measure in inches, but I would measure in functionality. You know, if the dog has a functional muzzle. If the dog has a muzzle that can be uh, used as far as uh, great breathing, uh, cooling the air as it comes into the lungs, that, that's, that's what really what we're looking for. You know, although the American Bully specifically is not a dog that's known for his athletic prowess, it should be able to breathe. We shouldn't have, as I talk about it, we got one over here snoring, but we shouldn't have, you know what I mean, a problem with normal breathing and uh and getting cool air into the lungs it's very very stressful for a dog to constantly have to fight for air oxygen is life oxygen into the bloodstream helps everything that goes on with the dog so when you talk about you know your muzzle length you know generally uh i would say proportion to the head you know if we were talking fingers i would prefer a muzzle that's about three fingers you know in width and that's you know that wide but you want to you want the dog to be able to uh not only have a muzzle that's long enough but you want the nares to be able to open up free flowing with uh free flowing with air a lot of the dogs now the nares the nose it closes down it makes it hard to get the air in and also when the air goes you know they start breathing through their mouth a lot of them don't have clear air passages going down either you know so uh, a lot of times it's corrective surgeries to uh help you know help this and that and the other and when you have those corrective surgeries those dogs should never be bred because that's going to be passed on genetically one of the saddest uh trends i see right now that's going on is as puppies you know um people are having the corrective surgeries with the uh with the airways and okay you 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 have this surgery but you don't make the dog a pet so as the dog gets older yes the dog look healthy but now he passes on the same thing to his offspring and it just continues the cycle of our dogs getting unhealthier um you know, aesthetics is one thing. You know, we all love to see a pretty dog, but a functional dog is the most important thing. And I know some of y'all like the very, very pushed in face, but that's just not always the best thing. It's one of the reasons why the, the, um, the lifespan on several very short, uh, short muzzle breeds have went down considerably. Uh, the Boston Terrier, the French Bulldog, the English Bulldog, have all seen uh, different issues with people trying to make these dogs, you know, more and more and more compact in the face, which is not a great thing to do. So, you know, um, muzzle-wise, go for functionality. I say you do need some decent length there. And what we used to do is we didn't necessarily go for the shortest muzzle. We just didn't want a snipier, longer muzzle, like, you know, that was very pointy. So you would see some dogs, you know, and some of my dogs are like that, where their muzzle is very, very broad. And it's wide across the face. And with that being very, very broad, even though it's a little bit longer, you know, than some people would consider the little smushed in faces, it gives the appearance of a, a, of a shorter muzzle because it's so wide, you know. That changes, the width changes everything. I think, we, you know, with the American Bully, that's what we want. We want a muzzle that's wide and goes right into the cheeks so you get that line, you know. That line that's right there in between the cheeks. Now the cheeks pop out, but you got the wide muzzle in the face. You know, it gives the, you know, every, every bully with those pretty faces got those big wide jaws. That's what you want. You don't want the dog to, you know, have it little... And, it, <laughs> and the dog really looks like he's struggling to live. We don't want that, you know, and I'll repeat that again. We do not want that. So, you know, all beautiful people, man, let's let's try to make our dogs functional. Let's try to make the, uh, our dogs with the breathing the best that we can. And, you know, just 
Be have common sense. Follow the standard. Until the next video, much love, y'all. Peace.